Hello y'all. Earlier today I did a video about Vice President Joe Biden's presidential campaign ads and react to three of those videos. Well, now I'm going to be reacting to President Trump's three campaign ads. So, here we go with numero 50%, even including a proposal to remove 911 dispatchers from police control. Joe Biden said he's absolutely on board with defunding the police. Listen closely. Yes, absolutely. Hello, you've reached 911. I'm sorry that there is no one here to answer your emergency call. I'll leave a message to anyone that's asking questions if you can. Crime will rise significantly. So yeah. And... In this ad, Trump is right. The, the Democrats are trying to defund the police. And that, to me, doesn't make any sense. And that should be something that is pushed. Yeah, there's a lot of tension out there with the police right now with the killings of a few people. And... And it's just using their power in ways that is shouldn't be used. And that is right. But we need to... Taking money away from them is going to cause other issues. Such as not being able to maintain their squad cars. Say they're chasing down someone that's going 130 miles down the highway. Putting nearly everyone on the road at risk. And they can't, and then say, in the middle of the high-speed chase, their car breaks down. They need money to maintain their cars. They need money to maintain the amount of police officers they have. There's a, a breaking on this, in this old lady's house on this side of the, side of the city. And then there's a, and then there's a mass shooting on this side. Well, well, where are the police supposed to go if there's not enough of them to keep, take care of those issues? And... And there's a whole bunch of things that need to be said to keep the police officers in the best form. They won't be. They may not be able to get the proper training that they that the left is saying that they need over these issues. Issues because they can't afford the training. They can't maintain the amount of police officers to keep the issues down in the city. Their squad cars break down. There's a whole bunch of things that go into funding the police departments. And taking that money away from them is not going to keep the police departments the protectors of our cities. Okay, let's go on the numero dos. Is recovering from the coronavirus. And so is America. Together, we rose to meet the challenge. Protecting our seniors, getting them life-saving drugs in record time, sparing no expense. President Trump tackled the virus head on, as leaders should. I can't imagine that anybody could be doing more. We'll get through this together. We'll live carefully, but not afraid. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Yes, COVID-19 is a big part of this political or presidential election and and it is being very politicized right now and a lot of the campaign ads throughout this entire election season when they start coming up in say March April to now is pretty much mostly health COVID base there is one ad I wanted to do for Joe Biden's reactions that I couldn't find online. I see it on my TV, TV nearly every day watching TV, and and um and I couldn't find it online. Wanting to be able to re, re to be able to download it to put in the video to react to. That pretty much is saying that if Trump is reelected. She won't be able to, to um, afford her health care for her son who is terminally ill, which to me is a whole bunch of baloney because cause, um, I can't formulate words right now and I apologize for that. 
which is a whole bunch of baloney to me because you, because Trump being reelected is not going to change anything. He may be try to push his health care directive that he tried doing in a doing at the beginning of his term that that failed, I believe, in the Senate. Senate to pass the House, and then they couldn't get enough votes in the Senate to be able to push it forward to Trump's desk. But I don't think think there would be much of a difference between the health care now if Joe Biden or Trump is elected. So to me, I don't really agree with that. And Trump is doing a lot to help out the coronavirus cause. And COVID is basically the hugest part of this entire election season. And I don't think any other health crisis has ever been pushed so hard in a, in a political sense before. And and Dr. Fauci is right. There's not, nobody could be really doing more. more. It's not like we can go out there and just kill the virus. The virus is, we need to have our immune systems fight it to create herd immunity. We need a vaccine to come about about to help create the herd immunity. Really, there's nothing more that can be done right now with COVID. And, and Joe Biden is pretty much saying that he has like a magical cure for this, and I don't get it. And Trump hasn't been really saying that he's going to stop it, but he's pretty much say, has been saying that we're going to fight this together and overcome this together. And that's... I think is a huge driving point of this entire election is COVID and COVID and Biden's stance is going about it saying that he's going to make health care a lot more affordable. He's going to tackle this virus head on and like it's like it's some sort of military raid raid and Trump is pretty much saying we'll overcome this together and I think that is a huge driving point of this election and who knows how this election is going to turn out. Polls are saying Joe Biden's ahead, but in 2016, they said Hillary was ahead. And I think COVID will just be be a huge driving point of this election. And I think whoever does the best in terms of their responses to COVID is pretty much going to have the best shot at this election. And that's my take on that. Now, the umer, numeral... The trace. This is no time for Donald Trump's record of hysterical xenophobia. By the sun, inked a billion dollar deal with a subsidiary at the Bank of China. Wait, 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 get nervous, man. China is going to eat our lunch. Come on, man. They're not bad folks, folks. Since the outbreak, the Communist Party has been mobilizing overseas organizations to buy local supplies and send them to China. Growth of China is overwhelmingly in our interest. A beautiful history we wrote together. Donald Trump will not stop the president. Is right that travel restrictions on China, as every public health official we've talked to said, bought the country to hysterical xenophobia. Germany. Xenophobia. I complimented him on dealing with China. I'm not going nuts. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Okay, this one to me is actually kind of um, interesting. I don't have a lot of information about it, and and it's definitely um, an interesting topic over Joe Biden's son and Joe Biden's allegedly Chinese issues, and... And yes, there has been a lot of reports on it. And I, and I guess a lot of it's just allegedly happening right now. And we don't have too much information on it. And we... Yeah, I don't really know how to formulate my thoughts on this one. Other than... Then yes, it... Having China's... China... Working along China, best interest. Two cents, I would say yes. Because a lot of people are talking about wanting things American made and stuff. But overall, yes, having things made in America would help 
the help create jobs and help create build our economy but at the same time if companies can build things cheaper elsewhere that ends up keeping the cost level low and help and then help people spend more money on those products that help increase the cost in its and doing so would also help boost the economy so it's apples and oranges I would say oh with this you want things made in America America to help promote jobs but at the same time if things are more expensive to be made in the United States it increases the cost of products and more people are not going to be able to afford those products so they won't be able to buy them buy them and it's just it's a hard thing to balance balance but at the same time time I think we need nearly every country's effort to work together to help keep everyone together because we live in a great country and and if we can help out a country over in Europe if we can help out a country over in Asia Africa Africa to help build them up though they will end up helping out all of us together it's a touchy subject a lot of people say say we don't need them other people think we do and it's hard and I think think if, if they have if a country over in Africa has something that we could have that could help our economy economy why don't we help them out so we can get their resources so yeah and then also with Biden's son allegedly working with cashing out profits in China and overseas and other countries and stuff like that it's totally wrong you're using your dad's vice presidency and political likeness to for cash profit and Joe Biden is essentially doing the same thing and that's completely and utterly wrong and should be handled and uh, I believe the FBI should investigate into this further I haven't really seen anything about the FBI getting involved maybe I've missed it maybe I'm just not paying as much attention as it should be but we need to get this together just like with Hillary's emails and Benghazi or however you say it scandal we need to touch this head on and and do an investigation to see what's really going on so yeah that's that like I said in the first video don't care who you vote for not going to tell you who to vote for just my reaction to these videos I'm not your dad so go do whatever you want and I'll see you guys later and Make the right choice for you. Go on to each of their websites to have the best knowledge base of who you want running this country. And just remember, no, no matter who wins, we still live in a wonderful country. And that's that. Alrighty. See ya.